All right, I'm gonna explain this as quickly as I possibly can, so you gotta pay a lot of attention. So, drag and drop model using person enemy weak thing. Set the position to zero, so you make your life a lot easier. Then drag and drop whatever model you want into there. Like so. And then you want to position it wherever you want, but using in fucking hands, so you want to position the AK properly in the hands. You want to do this perfectly, but I'm just using a test animation. I'm not going to take one million years trying to be like, ooh, fucking, I'm going to position it perfectly, can't because I fucking OCD, you might. Alright. Once you're done with that, you want to open up the model, the armature, hips, spine, chest, right shoulder, right arm, right elbow, right wrist. So you want to find where you put it. So if it's in the left, it's going to be in the left shoulder, right, it's going to be through the right shoulder. You just want to go down, and then you want to place the fucking AK in the wrist. So you're holding it in your hand and not anywhere else. Once you're done with that, Control D. Hide the original one. Open the model up a bit. Because I like to do that for some reason. And then click animation here. And then. You know, what can they cut? English. You are a fucking. There you go. English, not English, please. Uh, you wanna go down here. You wanna create an animation. Probably go down here. Hips. Spine, chest, right shoulder, right arm, right elbow, right wrist. Open that up. Click active, and then yeah, boom. We have an animation. I'll delete these here, otherwise the animation will fuck up. Control Z, Control V, so pull that instantly. Does it work? Yep. Okay. Then you got your item in the hand, and yeah. If you're wondering, that's it. Yeah, boom, you just created a new animation. Now you want to hide the duplication. You want to open up here, and then you want to add a component, which would be your VRC. It's called VRC Avatar Descriptor. There. Yep, boom, and then you have your sitting and standing motions here, right here. So what you want to do next is you want to go to VRChat SDK, examples, sample as, animation, and you want to... I've done this a lot of times. You want to duplicate it, which is Control D. And then you want to drag and drop that into assets done that so don't have to but you want to drag and drop that to assets <laughs> then <coughs> what you want to do is click the animation override custom override D yeah then you want to put your animation to one of the gestures here which is like shift f1 f7 f8 or whatever on desktop but for VR users it's like called fist fall and stuff like that so you just want to I actually put it into fall if you fall. <laughs> anyway, put it into your fucking fist. Copy that into there and then put the animation of right into Yeah. You don't have to put it in the sitting, but if you don't want to put it in the sitting, that's fine, because it'll work by like sitting and shit would be annoying. So you just want to press the circle there and click none. If you don't want it. Yep. And uh, that's it. Now you go to VR chat. Show you the control panel and then you fucking upload the avatar. I don't have the most recent SDK or Unity, so I can't actually fucking upload this onto VR chat. Otherwise, I have to install a bunch of shit, but yeah. There you go. It works. Oh, yeah, by the way, hide this. <laughs> Sometimes I get to do that, my bad. You click on the model, you go down, and then you hide it because you're going to be pulling it out in the animation. I like to do this last for some reason. That's just the way I do things, which probably isn't the best way, but whatever. But yeah. Fuck you, cunt, and have a nice day.